Yes. I think I should think about it more and then fill this in correctly instead of just sticking around. Okay. I'm just gonna, I know I'm being impulsive right here, but just a little bit at a time. Okay. You don't want too much impulsivity, you hurt yourself. Okay. Trust me on that. That's, that's Hi, Virgo. Hi, Virgo. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Virgo, thank you for being a part of this place and showing up. I'm very happy to <clears throat> engage and uh, exchange energy. Thank you for that, being conscientious of that. Um, a few, let's talk about a few messages before we jump into your cards. <clears throat> just a second, I'm having a mock cocktail. It's just bitters uh, with cherry and some water. So good for di your digestive system. Virgo rules over the digestive system. It's one of the things you rule. Um, oh, I was thinking about that. So some of you here are Pluto and Virgo generation. Awesome healers. Amazing shifts. I was, I was sitting with it and I was like, man, um, that generation is, uh, it was, it, I feel like a part of that is like what opened a door intellectually into um, being open-minded about something and then i went into jupiter people with jupiter and virgo and how that's part of that how that is facilitated <clears throat> um so is this the 60s uh, I guess there's a few different timelines here, but the 60s through the 80s at least, right? Um, your third house is also highlighted. This is Gemini's house. Uh, Mercury will be in retrograde. This is also your ruler. You and Gemini are actually last on the roster, so we kind of saved Mercury for last. <clears throat> now you, same as Scorpio, uh, this is a time of adjustment for you. Um could be aligning energy, particularly, uh, I suppose the most beneficial way to use this is to strengthen the mind by, um, like having more control over the electricity of the mind, um, maybe electronic devices or electricity in and of itself, a person may be conscientious of that. I mean, we could use this as a tool to learn about something that helps us get to where we want to be or learn what we need to learn. Um, but disengaging also um, always healthy, right? Now the tempo is going to be faster this month than it has been. It could for you feel this Aries is an in conjunct to you, so you may feel like, well, I, I have to do this. This I'm, I need to do this, and that's, that's true. Where you're looking at your responsibilities with integrity. But it's almost like it would be difficult to try to get everything done, and better, slow, and steady. Or at very least, like, whatever the pace, because it's going to be faster than slow, but I heard it's kind of cruise control, right? You want to keep it, <clears throat> there's no need to, like, stop, stop, just find your tempo and know that it will be a little faster than average. also feel like contacts with other people could even be meeting new people, uh, being introduced to new people. Um could be some really interesting conversations and discussions with others. Uh, action is also intensified. So what do we want to mention here? Well, Robert Hand suggests to use this time to gather information rather than to reach conclusions. 
And in ways of dealing with others, um, say contracts, negotiations, business deals, things of this nature, it, he suggests that it is wise to use this period to make everyone's position clear and to discuss possibilities rather than, again, reaching final conclusions. It says keep your mind flexible and be ready for any new experience that may come along. Um, and do not allow your point of view or your opinion to harden. Uh, and part of the reason you're supposed to be doing your thinking now is you're you're going to have like an intellectual withdrawal, if you will. Like, because once we have the idea, and again, what did this say? We make every we figure out what everyone's position is in relation to what we're creating. We want to create with, and we we ensure that that position is clear, your own included and discussing the, what the possibilities are. Because these could be things that you will be doing in the future. Is that too shady? Sorry. Um, that you will be doing in the future, Virgo. I'm so parched. Can you hold on a second? <clears throat> Well, this has happened a couple times for you when we're doing your readings and I just <clears throat> it's like I can't get enough water it feels so replenishing it's not you'd think that well I have a little bit that's enough but we need more and it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have more you can have more of that which which feels good and is nourishing um, and this is clean so, <laughs> okay. Just a sec. I want the stick, just a minute. Okay, so you actually received two cards. This one says, <clears throat> be the person you needed when you were a kid. Um, this could also relate if you were a parent. Be, be the parent that you needed to your child. Um, so, someone has the capacity to do this for themselves and even for other people where where it's needed because then we continue on which I guess is suggesting a part of what is needed is kind-hearted kind-heartedness and being full excuse me full of love we have 20 percent we're fine but it, let's read this again be cut pack be cut cut pack that sounded like another language to me. Uh, be kind-hearted and full of love, but maintain boundaries like a motherfucker. <laughs> she cusses in this deck. I have to. We're not putting ads over here. We're not capitalists. So let's see. This one says... <clears throat> Okay, this is pretty strong, but we're going to read it. There's cuss words in here. You ready? Letting people fuck with you is not a spiritual attribute. Think about Archbishop Desmond Tutu. That dude wouldn't have done the good shit he did in the world if he let people walk all over him. Even His Holiness the Dalai Lama tells people to fuck off sometimes in his own compassionate way. <laughs> So, say this is, um, oh, hello. It's the beginning of a new life right there. So, I guess this is showing me that 
Some folks here have been doing some pretty good work with their inner child and maintaining their boundaries and being kind-hearted and not letting people walk all over them. Um, I heard not being afraid to do the hard thing. I feel like that's what is like, that. that's the, the past has led to this point. Okay. Um, let's see, Virgo, that one. Let's just start with one, King of Swords. King of Swords, perfect. So this is your significator, perfect. Someone really respects someone here for what they say, um, for their mind. They're kind, someone's kind of in awe of someone. Yeah, They're, someone's very intrigued by something. Nine of Pentacles. Oh yeah, I heard people are impressed with you. Two of Pentacles. Let's keep going for a second. No, stop here. Okay. Let's sit with that. What if, what if that was it? Where we are right now, if this is all we had, let's, let's, let's work with that for now. One of the things I have right now is this awesome cherry. So someone could be dehydrated this month. Do you want to pay attention to that? The sun is in Aries. Mars, uh, Mars and Venus are opposing you. Um, so. Someone's in a really good space right now. Because of that, they can learn something else. Or they can um, or, or overcome something. Be the person you needed when you were a kid. We have two more cards. Just a second. What do we have now? Five? I'd like nine. Do you, do you mind? So you need four more for Virgo. Not that one. Two more. One more. Oh, thank you. Ah, thank you very much. High Priestess. Thank you very much. Oh, six pentacles on the bottom. Beautiful. This card is very uh, balanced. It's balanced in the physical world, too. Good. Oh, good. Uh, give me a second to tune in, please. And actually, I need more water. <clears throat> Be right back. gotta know what we need right this is a real basic thing so let's all right let's start in this physical reality and then we will work our way in different layers so uh leo also received the two of cups this month you have it in the bottom left corner. They had it in the top, in the top, top left. 
So, King of Swords, Four of Cups. Just a minute. Well, I guess this shows me the connections and communications, uh, discussions with other people. Uh, who do you admire? And I heard, and what, what kind of, um, connection or relationship is that? Like, is it a romantic relationship? Is it a, is it a, um, like a work relationship and and what what is it that you admire about it when jupiter changes signs into gemini um the way that turns, that turn for you, because that's a sharp turn for you, you you turn it onto a good road, so don't worry about that. Some of you may be a little bit concerned whether you knew astrology or not. You like It goes to this certain time frame, in your, I heard, in a person's mind. And again, I see whether a person realizes it or not, they're, they're in line with astrology. So there's like divine timing. Um, I heard someone we, subconsciously we can read God's clock. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> but I heard remember that's his time, not our time. Right? There's universal time this time. It's interesting that we're in the physical world talking about all this kind of stuff. <laughs> so obviously this is a topic that may come up too. Maybe there's just philosophical discussions or or again, just these, it's a great time to communicate. <clears throat> it's a good time to love. Um, and I actually see, again, c connections and communications with other people being very clear, very loving, very honest. Any kind of connection, I guess, that was like feeling murky. Maybe there was a boundary, like a mismanagement of a boundary because of, um, I heard, what somebody was unconsciously wanting. And so the kind of, if we could call it like yucky energy, the sticky energy is kind of like staying stuck to whatever it was, right? What's that saying that little kids uh, say? Right, it doesn't stick to me, it sticks to you. Something about glue. But someone is getting that sticky off. It's like I heard they're getting the exoplasm off. So this could be an old spirit, right? And and now a person has like an an, an opportunity for, um, maybe this is working with like new guides, or working with um, working spirituality more or back in or more into your physical reality, which is going to create more of a flow. Uh, I'm seeing where someone spins poi. It's like you, um, and this is Gemini, and this is Aquarius, which is all mercurial energy, and here's you. You're not juggling, although I suppose you could. You're just <clears throat> creating, well, I guess you're creating with your hands. What you're creating with your hands or the way that they move is very important. Now, emotionally awesome okay uh well i see pretty awesome energy two of pentacles sometimes is up and down if you have a lot of scorpio in your map if you are a again virgo uh pluto person i would suggest their reading because that'll throw the emotion that'll explain more of the wave if you will of emotion And you know, she's in the desert and we were, we were like, oh, I need water, I need water, right? And we're almost getting to the point where 
I, I feel, my body feels satisfied with what we've taken in because we know that bitters was really helpful. Have you ever tried that? It's usually made in the islands. I'm guessing it's a root. I should know what it is, but, um, I'll look that up or share with me. I'm sure you know. <laughs> so we have two of pentacles, nine of pentacles, high priestesses is, is your emotional line. So this is a person being happy with their independence, um, being happy with who they are. Uh, I do kind of see something and I know, well, I can't say I know because I don't technically know, but I'll share the message that I see. It's for somebody. If you've been in a zone where you're like, I am just, I'm working on my own spiritual stuff. I'm in my own little private zone. I'm in my little comfort zone. I'm in my little hermit cabin. You could even be dating somebody, but you just don't go out a lot. If you're single specifically and you've been your witchy woman in your own space, totally cool. Thank you for being, thank you for holding that space. I, I, I personally have found that very rewarding and immensely healing and helpful. It's cleansing for the land, it's cleansing for the person there, it's cleansing for that which they connect to and their spiritual, it, the invisible energy that goes out into, into this life, that matters. And being happy, of course, is a huge part about that. But I could see here where if a person, again, has been, I guess, antisocial, this is asking someone to put themselves out there. And it could be particularly for some of you dating and maybe you're, it's done with being single. Um, and you know what? We've been talking about, or, or being, maybe it could be singular minded. I don't know. Like something was one way, if you will. And now it's wanting it to kind of switch to think about it different or try something a little different. I heard you don't have to, it's not about scrapping the whole book. Look, you're, you're, the book you're reading right now is a pretty big book and there's a lot more to go, you know, like, and you're writing part of this book too. Oh, or some of you authors, cool. Or there's something in ways of publishing, something. Um, these could also, I could also, I just saw them as blueprints or as plans as well. Um, you know, maybe you want to look about, look, look about and, and see how far you've come. Um, but again, this is a time of sh the, the idea of it, not coming, not reaching the ultimate resolution. So I feel like emotionally you're in a really good place and there's something about Pisces Scorpio that makes you moody, makes a person moody or like kind of can bring a person's energy down. Perhaps that's a bit of Saturn opposing you. Again, maybe that Pluto energy. Um, but actually your prayer, like basic basic prayer, even, even just um, being more like being centered in your body, you know, like you could do your fingers, you know, just try to line, try to line things up. This actually, I just learned this the other day. You could put an elastic on your finger. You could do it without it. And just create your own tension but that actually strengthens the wrist um, the wrist muscles because you know, think about it we need our hand what our hands are what make us our animal you know that's a big part of it right I mean, we don't have to have all the phalanges to do the things, but these are incredibly important, right? The only other, what is the other animal that has hands like us? The raccoon, I think is the only other one. So. Creatively. Please write down your ideas. Um. I heard so I heard you could be very inspiring to someone um, also feel like a person's connecting more with people of their country 
this could be lineage it could just be where you are like maybe the energy of the earth and where you are now is becoming more attuned there's like um uh the the spirit of the natives of that land are sprouting awesome Just a minute. This seven of wands is reminding me of the the message of the energy pace being seven of wands is sort of fast. It's it's kind of in and out. This two of pentacles is in and out. But you see how she's just chilling. And actually, the way she's turning her neck to what's that called? The vagus nerve, where you look all the way to the one side until until you yawn and then you go the other way i feel rushed right now and i really like when people watch when i'm doing things with my body necessarily but um you would turn until you yawn the other way that resets supposedly that vagus nerve um Let me see. What's your communication actually looking like this month specifically? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like people, it, the communication is like very soulful. It's very loving. It's not afraid. It's um, knowledgeable. It is, it's, even though it's deep, it's also like lighthearted, the star. I heard someone say out loud, like, I need more time to myself. We have the card of the lovers. Look, if I just, I guess we just got to say it. If you're single or you're putting your focus j just in yourself, you're doing a really good job with that. You are, it is it very well could be time for you. That spirit could be introducing you to another person in the future. Seven of cups two of swords both about choosing if you're already involved or this is like kind of beginner beginning energy if you will it's like it's new it's slightly newer than in ways of this love energy then i see a person's actually really doing well with maintaining their motherfucking boundaries <clears throat> because they know that they don't want to fall into their habits. So if you have been falling into falling into habits, nine of swords, then well, ace of swords, it would be wise to communicate uh, to yourself what you need. Five of cups, ten of swords. Yes, right. This is where be the person you needed when you were a kid is really important because our partner is not that right our parent so maybe some of you have had somebody's had to deal with relationships like this it could also be one of those weird like back I heard back stories of the the child being more like the parent you know like that's how they grew up so that's how they maintain their relationships is sort of in this parental role which shows maturity but it's also like we all I heard we all need to be cared for. And our lovers are equal, right? Our partners are equal. Um, interesting. Yeah, King of Wands. He is strong. Ace of Wands. Wow. Actually, whoever you are seeing right now, if you're, whoever you're seeing is, um, this is kind of, what it's showing me is kind of a relationship that a person has kind of never had before. Um, or they're coming back into believing something differently that it's like a person that had been waiting 
And they were like, wow, is it ever going to be my turn? I mean, they weren't pissy at who was, who had what someone wanted, if you will. Or, like, a person wasn't upset that, no, no, a person wasn't upset that someone else, again, had something. But they had to figure out whether they felt like they deserved it or not. Do you know what I mean? Like, if they were, like, kind of like, am I worthy of that? Sun card. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, your effectiveness. If the pace is going too fast, please take a rest. Take a good lunch break. Take a half day if you can. Take some silent time. Take some time to write. Um, take some, I heard, take some time to, I guess, be out, out of doors in the, in this card is showing me that it's just like seeing the changes now, right? Because we can see them now. It's not just a feeling like it was before. And the changes that are here now are, I guess they're confirming someone's again, like worthiness. And so maybe that's something that you need to say to yourself that I, and it could be the thing that scares you or the thing that you don't like. You could be like, I, I am, um, do we have to clarify that? When we said the thing we don't, you don't like, a person doesn't like, it means, I guess the thing that someone's kind of scared of. But it, that would take the action of courage, not dumbassery, right? <laughs> the moon, ace of wands. Um, so again, if the pace is too fast, step back, even from that which you love, um, you, I heard you won't lose it because it'll mess with your effectiveness. You need time alone. Not that much of it. It, it could even be, I could, because I'm seeing this King of Swords and this Nine of Pentacles as kind of like as a couple or like people working together. Excuse me. And it's like people even doing their own things like within a space, right? It's like, okay, here's the house and like here are the people doing their own things. Here is the circle. Here are people doing their own things, but they're creating together. And it's actually really inspiring that way too. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I almost forgot. The family. There's something about someone's family um, being happy for a person. Someone's family is very happy for something. There could also, I guess there could be something physically going on with someone that you love also. Uh, maybe that's why we brought up the healer energy. Remember, you're very good at that. You know, you could, I don't know, share your plant medicine knowledge, share your medical knowledge, share your, um, and if you need this, then someone else has that information. Could even come from someone that's younger than you. Doesn't have to be, star. Um... There you are, Hermit. Yes, so Six of Wands, Four of Wands. Yes, please, Queen of Pentacles. I like that a person feels 70% of the time they feel 70 to 90%. It can go up to 90 sometimes. Or a person emotionally is very secure. Very, they're, they're confident. They're confident. It's a soft confidence. Um, so I heard if any, if any point in time, some, someone feels a little off, that's, that's okay. Just real hierophants laughing, right? God laughing at us. <laughs> Here we are humans. Here's God like laughing. Whose laughter do you just love? Or like, who do you laugh with a lot? Or what makes you laugh? Or go, I love when you laugh. You are fucking hilarious, Emperor. <laughs> yes, you are so funny. <laughs> Especially when you're serious. 
I mean, shoot, people take you seriously, don't get me wrong, but I, I like when, I guess I love it when it's, I'm talking for myself here too, I have a lot of Virgo, it's like, when I can catch myself in my over-seriousness and <laughs> just step back from things and be like, oh, right, it just changes everything. It totally changes everything. Um... Oh, Pisces was on the same day, and they talked a lot about, this is your opposing sign, your mirror. That would also be, that I feel like would be a good extender, Ace of Pentacles, a good extension reading. Um, for you. And again, if it's hot and cold, if something's hot and cold, then go to Scorpio. Okay, world, yeah, I guess we finished Six of Swords. I hope this was helpful, Virgo. Thank you for being a part of this place. Thank you for your support. And, um, yeah, I appreciate you so much. All right. Uh, have a great spring. Um, happy Equinox and beginning of the year, right? And um, I will talk to you next time. So.